Hello, my name is Alex Goldberg, and this instrument right beside me is the Instron Universal Testing Machine. In the scope of this video, we will be discussing the compressive and tensile capabilities of this instrument. This instrument is a 21 CFR Part 11 compliant instrument with auto audit trail and workflow traceability. Prominent features of this instrument include a load cell, which is capable of measuring up to 500 Newtons of force, as well as an extensometer, which accurately can measure compressive and tensile displacement. The Blue Hill software that accompanies the UTM provides detailed data analysis, statistics, and organized reporting of all data recorded. Another notable feature of this instrument is its customizable methods, which allows operators to include prompts prior to and following testing, such as the ability to input sample identification and describe the test method being performed. On top of this, you can record observations which are attached to a specific sample and select test results, which can include pass or fail criteria right on the instrument. A force versus displacement graph is generated for each sample run. Values on the graph can be manually selected with the cursor or auto-calculated by the instrument. Based on these selected values, the following calculations can be performed, including stress, strain, energy, and average force values. The instrument also provides us with the opportunity to generate PDF reports with graphs, data, and statistics for easy comprehension of test results. As I previously mentioned, this is a universal testing machine. The Instron is compatible with a wide variety of fixtures, which can be adapted to or machined specifically for the desired test sample. This makes the instrument truly universal. Some of the most common applications for this instrument include the ability to test to a specific standard. An example of this would be ASTM F88, seal strength of flexible barrier materials. This is a tensile test method which allows us to measure the max and average force required to remove litting from blisters or trays. In addition, we can perform tests for broader standards on entire package product systems. An example of this would be ISO 11040-8, which is a standard that encompasses pre-filled syringes. Subsection 6.2 of this standard specifically focuses on brake loose and glide force testing, which is the setup we have configured here. This test allows us to measure the initial force required to move a plunger in a pre-filled syringe, in addition to the average force required to keep the plunger moving throughout the duration of the test. The Instron can also support a wide array of fixtures, which can be adapted to or specifically machined for your specific test sample. Brake loose force is the force measurement required to initiate movement from a plunger in the barrel of a syringe. Glide force is the average force required to keep the motion of the plunger going until it reaches the bottom of the barrel. A final application that I would like to discuss is an internally developed method. The CCI team at CS Analytical has developed a method which util utilizes specific sample fixturing to conduct a compression test for flexible package systems. This method has been previously validated to detect leakage down to 10 microns in size in routine use for IV bags as well as cryo storage bags. If you are interested in more information regarding anything mentioned in this video, as well as the testing of your package systems and combination products, visit our website at csanalytical.com. Thank you.